Hi, it's Graham Cox here, co-founder of OptiService, and I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how to use OptiService with John Deere iGrade. Okay, John Deere iGrade by itself can only do plane control, which means it can follow a plane R, a flat surface, a plane R surface like this. If you want to do curved three-dimensional surfaces that OptiSurface specializes in, then you need another uh, add-on system. And if you're interested in that, uh, we can advise there. So, but in this example, I'm going to look at just using OptiSurface with the plane control native feature that iGrade has. So we've got this field here and we've split it up into three different boundaries and to split a boundary you can just right click on it and go split boundary so if I want to split this boundary here I could click right click and go no, we'll do it there click it there but I'm not going to click it in this example and once we've split it then we can design each boundary separately. So we've got our boundaries here and I can calculate, I can set a main slope direction so this would be my furrow direction and spacing and then I can set some minimum maximum slopes requirements for the main slope and then I can click calculate. So that'll go away and calculate a, a flat surface like this, planar surface. And so I've done that for those three boundaries that I had there before. And down the bottom here you get your summary results and your area and your earthworks volumes. So I'm going to focus on this large one here. When, when you click on these, the results update here for a particular zone. So I've clicked on that one there, and these, I wouldn't worry about those two, it's easier just to work with iGrade with this number here, the composite slope. So this is saying that the slope is 0.24% in the direction of 288.848. So this is the composite slope made up of these two slopes combined, and that is 288 would be in this direction here basically perpendicular to these contour lines. So that's the steepest slope is this direction. And that's 288.4848 and its slope is 0.24 degrees. So where would we enter those results into iGrade? So if we go here we can go single slope plane, single slope entry. So we can enter the slopes. That would be 0 0.240 in the example that I gave just then and the direction is 288.848 so I'd put this in the slope and I'd put this in the direction and then I'd drive to a area of zero cut fill which is we turn on our cut fill map zero cut fill is this green area so I drive to one of these areas, make sure I'm in it nicely, and then I'd press set the plane origin, and that would set the zero cut fill to, to that um, elevation. Then I'd drive around this field and make sure that the green areas, um, I'd drive around with uh, the iGrade system on auto. So I drive around with the, the plane active and the hide auto uh, control on and in these green areas the blade should be just brushing the ground, in these yellow areas it should be cutting. So I'd, I'd start cutting a bit then I'd come down here drop some soil, come back through here and at this point here it should start to touch the ground and it should start to cut. Uh, and then I'd, I'd um, go out of auto, lift the blade up, 
take the soil over here and then drop it somewhere here turn around come back through here and it should start brushing the ground here somewhere and then I could take some more cut here and drop it over here basically weave around this area a few times doing some cutting and filling until I'm comfortable that the plane design specified in the eye grade system is matching the cut fill map here that I'd expect. Once I'm happy with that, um, I can get to work. If there seems to be a vertical offset that you think you need to lower it a bit to get the match up better, then you can use the shift offset up or down to uh, nudge the design surface up or down to match to get the cut fills to match up a bit better and then obviously once I've done the earthworks on this section here then I would move on to the next section and get the slopes for that boundary enter them into eye grade and work that field there Now just to explain a bit more about our curved designs, I've just done an example here, a one-way design with some slopes and some smoothing on it. And you can see that that is the proposed topography. So you can see it's actually a curved surface. So that's curved. And if we look at the profile across the field, we will actually see... Um, See how it's, it's actually the blue line is proposed topography. It's actually a curved surface, which that's exaggerated the vertical scale. But the benefit of the curved surface is that it can follow the natural topography much more closely than trying to fit these straight, these you know, straight line planes over long distances. Actually, that should be rotated a bit more like that. So. So you can't implement these curved surface designs with iGrade by itself. You need another third party package that sits on top of iGrade to control it or you don't need iGrade at all. Some, you know, if you don't have iGrade purchased then there are options to not use iGrade at all and just have a machine control system that works with uh, John Deere GPS say. But if you have iGrade and you just want to use it for single plane stuff, that's that video that I've just recorded shows you how to do it. If you've got any questions, please email us at support at optisurface.com or give us a call. Um, our contact details are on our webpage at optisurface.com up in the top right. Okay, thank you for your time.